Hello world folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. According to world author Princess Charlotte and George, Bond bears similarities to Princess Anne and King Charles. World commentator Tom Quinn draws parallels between Princess Charlotte and Princess Anne suggesting that the young princess could follow in her great aunt's footsteps and play a significant role for the crown and the king in the future. Quinn, the author of the newly released book Gilded Youth, said that Charlotte's self-assured and grounded personality reminds him of the princess royal. Princess Anne has never really struggled. She's famously quite supportive of Charles, and she's kind of a tougher character than Charles because I think she has always known she wouldn't become the monarch, whereas Charles growing up was under pressure. And I think something similar will happen in the younger generation too, Quinn told Express. Quinn believes that there's a definite parallel between Anne and Charlotte, who already appears to have strong personality despite being a few weeks away from her eighth birthday. I think she does seem more sure of herself, more centered, and more grounded, he said. And according to Quinn, the weight of the crown is likely already present on the shoulders of the second line to the throne, George, who's nine years old. Couldn't fail to be aware of his future role, given that he has been included in events portrays only restricted those directly in the line of succession to the throne. And while Kate and William have tried to give their children a normal childhood as possible, They've also spoken to George about his future role in a way he can absolutely understand. Doesn't feel too burdened by his destiny, according to royal author Katie Nicole. Quinn said George will feel pressure due to his position, but he thinks Charlotte will be really good support for his elder brother if she doesn't envy the position and being less spotlight than him. With the pressure of being number one, you should need someone who's not really jealous you're number one. I think that was a problem with William and Harry. Just need someone to accept the situation and support you. So I think Charlotte will be really good for George. Kate and William have chosen the two children mark many first lives together, including the first Christmas Day walkabout in Sandingham, attending key events, and marking the Platinum Jubilee in 2022. Including the first official visit to Candiff in September, Charlotte and George support each other together in the funeral of their great-grandmother. It remains to be seen what role Charlotte will play in the future, but Quinn's comparison to Princess Anne suggests the young princess could have a young impact in the monarchy for years to come. And for now, it seems she's already providing support to her elder brother growing a self-assured, grounded young lady. So what do you guys think about this news? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.